Right, what's up guys, it's Real Cool Adventures. Today we're bow fishing with bacon. Now we're gonna show you how to launch a bait out there. Ready? You got your bail open? Here we go. The original. Do this. Morning, Mr. You? Brady. What's up? What's up? How you doing, Lauren? You mind if we're gonna size these up? Show people how to how to do it. Let's go. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna make a bow fishing bobber, and we're gonna show you from start to finish what you need to go out and catch stuff. First, we're gonna size up a bobber that'll slip onto the front of an arrow. Then we're gonna go over to the swivel section, clip the swivel onto here, so we have something to attach that to a bow. Then we're gonna take it out in the Everglades, and we're gonna catch the biggest mud-sucking fish you've ever seen in your life. What I like about some of the smaller tackle stores is they have bobbers that we can come in and actually feel and make sure that they go into the arrow before we purchase one. So we're gonna try to do this as cost-effective as we can, buying the minimum amount of stuff we can to go have fun. I want it to be a nice, snug, tight fit, because what we're going to do is we're going to actually launch this arrow 150, 200 yards. I want something that on impact, it doesn't slide up on the arrow. I want this to actually hit the water, stay intact, and then when a fish bites it, it's going to come up, and this is going to be our indicator that we're having a bite. It's going to be so far away that we won't be able to see this, really. So I'm going to take this arrow, and if I can barely push it through that bobber, like that, that's what I'm going to purchase. So I like the way this one feels. So we're gonna get it. So 89 cents, 89 cents. As long as you have a, a tip that'll unscrew, you can find the cheaper arrows, more expensive arrows, whatever you have laying around your garage will work for this. So I just screw that in there. Barely force that in, that's what we're gonna go buy. All right, now that we have the bobbers, they're gonna slide on the front of our arrows. We're gonna go to the swivel section, find a swivel that fits snug onto here. So come on. Do it. So I don't know if you can see this or not. What I'm gonna do is I'm, now I'm just unscrewing the tip, okay? And I'm gonna find like this three-way swivel, and all I'm gonna do is slip that onto there. As long as that will pass onto there, I can screw that on, and that, is what it's gonna look like. You need a three-way swivel, or just a swivel? Is this a three-way swivel? Yeah. Do you I just it? checked with the coordinator. This is a three-way swivel. Yeah, because it goes this way, this way, and this way. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm saying you need a three-way swivel. Yes. I'm gonna show you why we need a three-way swivel in a minute. So, this is our end product. I don't know, how much does that cost? 89 cents. Everything's 89 cents today. So, we're gonna grab Three, we'll go ahead and grab four of those just in case we get into a hot bite. So you shoot this with an arrow and you have your leader on here with a piece of bacon. Shoot that down the canal. It lands on the other side of the canal and when the giant mudfish hits it, this floats up and goes up. like oh. that. Called bow fishing, homemade bow fishing bobber. Only you would think of something like that. Mr. There we go. Only you. Hey. <laughs> That's cool though. It's gonna be cool. Wait till you see uh, this. Take care. Thank you. All right, buddy. All right, let's make a move. Let's go. Hey, remember the spot where I caught that monster mudfish? Can I get to that spot without a boat? Um, not really get close to it, but... Can I borrow your boat? No, you can't borrow your boat. Just for like, I just need to do, just go to that spot and I'll bring it right back home. No. All right, fine. We're coming to Why take not? we're coming to take the boat. Come take the Okay, you don't know the lock combination. I don't I have bolt cutters. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm not I'm not in Wellington, so Perfect. Then we're coming to take the boat. Thank you. 
Better dial 901 because we're going to have fun. Hey, All right, guys, we're out here at the, what's the name of this place? The Loxahatchee Road Boat Ramp. We're at the Loxahatchee, what? The, I think it's the Loxahatchee. I can't even say it. We're at the Loxahatchee Road Boat Ramp. Road Boat Ramp, okay? That west of Boca Raton, backed up against the Everglades. Since my brother wouldn't let us borrow his boat to go to a spot that I fish with him, we're going to show you how to shoot a bait to his fishing hole and catch this fish, and then we're gonna take pictures of it, send it to him. But what we're gonna be using today is called the bow fishing bobber. We went to the tackle store earlier, we bought all the stuff that we need, and we're gonna show you how you can make this yourself for under $20. This is a three-way swivel. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this swivel and we're gonna tie it, okay? I'm just gonna tie it, whoa, on there like this. Do a uni knot. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna pull it down like that. Sense that down. Okay, so now we have this, like that, an L shape. Then we're gonna take our arrow, okay, any of them, any arrow you have laying around you can use. We're just gonna take the field point off. Doesn't matter what grain it is. We're gonna take that off. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna take this off. And then we're gonna simply slide this on like so, just like that. Then we're just gonna slip that down. My hands might be a little shaky. We're gonna slip that down like that. So that's tied just like that, okay? And then this goes to our fishing rod right here, okay? This other part is going to have our leader and then a hook with a piece of bacon on it because that's all we brought. So now we're gonna take this. These are pre-made leaders, they cost $2. You can make these yourself. Use whatever hooks you'd rather use. Um, when you open these up, don't throw your garbage out on the park. Like, we've picked up a bunch of that stuff. You're just going to take this off. It's made to come off real easy for some people. Not you. Just not me. And take that like that. And I was gonna do a slip knot on there like this, but actually I don't like this leader, it's too short. So I'm not trying to catch alligators. So give me a second, we're gonna tie a longer piece of leader on here. I thought these were longer, but they came pre-packaged. So I'm gonna cut that hook off, tie a piece of leader on. We'll be back in a second. Screw it in and let the fun begin. The best thing for this is, if you wanna get it out far, is a bow. Because this canal, as you can see, it's pretty wide. But the, so the bow's purpose is to shoot it as far as you can. Yeah, we can't physically cast across this canal. So we're going to use a bow to shoot our bait across the canal. Because we know there's bigger fish on the other side. Because everybody fishes here. It's a public park. So this is going to give us an advantage to get to the other side. If you have a kid or somebody that you go fishing with a child and they sit there and they constantly want to reel their bait in, this is for you. Because you can shoot their bait half a mile down the canal and they'll keep reeling it in all day and they'll probably even sleep better that night. So if you have some kid that has a lot of hyper whatever it's called, this is another good thing for them. Yeah. All right, so you've heard of bigger baits, bigger fish. This is bigger bacon, bigger fish. Look at that. So we're going to take this. Okay. Actually, we're going to let's trim that down here. Cut that in half for me, please. It goes to the bed of my truck. Whatever, I don't even care to truck. Try to make that like a good slice in the... Try like, to slice your fingers. We'll be using those for bait. Bacon. All right. For those of you who don't know, Lauren's been playing with filet knife since she was three years old, so I'm not too worried about it. No, not playing. She's been very careful, but she knows what she's doing. She's a, almost professional. So what I'm trying to do is bacon. this bait's going to go flying through the air and smack the water at... Mach 7. So we don't want it to come off. So I'm hooking it several times, in and out. That's what it's all about. And the reason we're using bacon is it's so greasy. They just like the smell and the... Who doesn't? You know the reason we're using bacon? Because everything likes bacon. Bacon grease. Mm. So now what I'm doing is I'm wrapping this around the arrow. Just like this. Bacon. 
when it's almost spring unload. We're going to shoot it across. It's going to hit the water and it's going to uncoil. That's going to spin around and uncoil and drop the bait down. So just wrap it real gently. And what I want to do is I'm going to take this and hook it sideways right in there, 90 degrees like that. So look at that beautiful little shish kebab. That bow is going to smell awesome. Now that right there is what dreams are made of. This is going to hit the water. Bacon's going to go whoa off the side. This is going to flop sideways. It's going to go woo woo down. Fish is going to go no 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 no. And then wah la la la. Yeah, just like that. And then when the fish hits, these feathers your indicator. It's actually going to go up like that. So we can sit here. Let's say you weren't paying attention. You can shoot it across. And when a fish strikes and pulls down like this, the arrow goes up, just like you're sword fishing. It's gonna go up like that. We know we have a bite, then we're gonna reel it in on our cane pole. Oh, you gotta have perfect grips, blah, blah, blah. No, you need a zip tie and a cane pole. If you guys wanna see how to make these cane poles, we'll do a video on how to build these. You got any duct tape? Never leave home without it. All right, so now we're gonna take this, I'm gonna hook it to our arrow. We're gonna take the rod. I'm going to undo the bail and open it. Another thing is, see how Lauren doesn't have her sunglasses on? Put your sunglasses on, please. No matter what you're shooting at, any projectile with a kid, whether it's a BB gun, arrow, slingshot, wrist rocket, whatever you wanna call it, you always wanna have some type of protective eyewear. So you're just gonna hook it on like that. It's gonna cock it. And make sure it's not hung up on anything. And let her rip. The The bacon! You got one. Lauren's got one. I got one. I got some. Woo! Going. Ooh, he's digging. What do you got? Got a bluegill. They wanna touch a little solid gold. Oh. Not bad. Still can. Alright, that's one fish. The original. Hope you had a good time today. This is Bow Fishing with Mike and Lauren on Real Cool Adventures. We'll see you on the next one.